hearing from those community leaders who say they have had enough. ABC 27's Micah Cho joins us live in Quincy tonight, who was at that meeting. Micah, what came out of today's discussion? Ava, it came down to pastors here in communities impacted and saying that the church has to have a greater role in the community. Some of those pastors even saying that they're coming to cemeteries like this in Quincy now all too often. Now, some of the speakers at today's discussion are ex-felons who have been involved in the legal drug pay trade in the past. Now they say they want to put their experiences to good use to discourage their community from using cocaine, Xanax, anything not prescribed by a doctor. As an ex-felon, Pastor Greg James says he sees the path Gadsden County is going down and it's going to take a community wide effort to get these drugs out of the streets. The church is going to take all of us uniting our voices together to say that we cannot afford any more deaths when it comes to gun violence and when it comes to drugs that are causing people to lose their lives. On top of those Gazin County deaths, the Leon County Sheriff's Office confirms on July 3, their office responded to two overdoses, possibly related to the Gazin County fentanyl overdoses. And coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, we'll talk to the husband of a Quincy woman who was one of Friday night's overdose victims. For now, in Gazin County, Micah Cho, ABC 27.